Hey Flosstube, my name is Allie and this is Allie Stitches. Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning from some of my earlier videos or if you're new to my channel, um, welcome either way, glad to have you. Today is January 31st, 2021 and this is my fourth Flosstube episode. If you have been watching my videos and if you've been paying attention, um, you'll know that this video is coming out a week early. I know I've only had a few videos anyway, but you know, I mentioned I would be releasing videos every three weeks likely, um, but I was looking at our calendar for the next few months and noticed some conflicts if that were going to be the case. Um, just because I usually film on Sunday afternoons and so if we have anything going on over the weekend or like especially on Sunday, um, you know, I kind of want to work around that. So I figured I'd just move these up and that actually kind of looked, uh, if I moved this one up and then did it three, every three weeks after that, it was going to work out a little bit better. So I just went ahead and did that. So, so a bit of excitement in my house, um, for, at least for me, that is kind of stitching related. We got a new chair for our office and it's, it's like a sitting chair, um, but it's like a perfect chair for just sitting and stitching in. Um, so I put it in the office here and it's going to be, it's really going to be my new stitching spot. Um, I have a few kind of spots throughout the house that I, I tend to stitch in, but this will probably be my main my main stitchy spot going forward. So, so I figured I'd showed this off on um, Floss Tube. I posted about it on Instagram, but I didn't actually share a picture of the chair yet. So I'll post that later, but thought I'd debut it on Instagram. Um, and I figured why not just show kind of my whole stitchy spot and also maybe a little bit about my stitchy setup. Um, so I, I took a quick video earlier, so I'll insert that here. All right, here we go. So this is my new chair and essentially my new stitchy spot. So I figure I'd just kind of do a quick tour of this spot here. And um, I got some blankets obviously to keep warm, especially this time of year, you can see all the snow out there. Um, and yeah, some of the other things, I also just got this new little side table to kind of go in this spot as well. Um, I got this at Home Goods. And yeah, it's just got some drawers. I can keep some extra stitchy stuff in there. I haven't quite found a, you know, final place for that, but that was a really cute, cute side table. Um, I have this magnetic music stand, and I guess the fact that it's magnetic isn't a super big deal, but um, fingerprints all over it. Uh, but yeah, it's a metal music stand, and so this works perfect to hold uh, my iPad or paper patterns, kind of whatever I'm using. And I can also kind of set my stitching on it for when I need to get up or something. And then I also just keep a magnet here um, on the stand itself. Obviously just magnets to the stand and then that's, I keep it towards the edge and then that's where I keep, so if I have like a ring of my threads, I'll just magnet it right there. And then if I'm switching out threads, or if I'm just getting another thread of the same color, a lot of times I can just um, kind of continue, or just leave it on there and pull right there, but if I need to switch a different color, it's pretty easy to pull it off, switch my color, um, grab what I need, and then throw it back on. So that just kind of sits there, so it's pretty easy access. Um, so yeah, I'll keep, obviously, my essential stitchy tools, my scissors, um, I don't know if, I haven't really heard people have using these, but every once in a while I need to use a needle threader if I'm short on my thread and can't quite get it myself. Um, and then I just bought this little jar at a thrift store yesterday. Um, so that's for my ort jar. And kind of perfect size to just kind of gather all my orts for, for some time and then I'll transfer them to something else. And then, yeah, I've had this basket where I've kept all my whips and hoops. Had that for a little bit of time now, so and that can just kind of sit there comfortably. And dog toys and um, these other other kind of things. I don't know if I'd shown this yet, but I do have a whole, a whole um, cone of DMC white or blanc. But so anyway, haven't quite fully organized yet, but that's kind of my new stitchy spot. And just in the rest of my office, um, 
mess over here, but I do have some of my cross stitch stuff over in that corner. Um, and then I'll be continuing to fill out that bookshelf, um, get it organized and have all my crafty stuff. So, oh, and then I have my, my lamp here as well. So it works out perfect, but I can use the natural light, um, from the window during the day. So that's my stitchy spot. So yeah, there's my new chair and my new um, kind of stitchy spot. Just given that I haven't been stitching for very long, um, you know, I'm been still trying to figure out the best system to kind of have a good spot to stitch, but that my cross stitch stuff isn't taking up the whole house. So this is perfect. This is a great place to um, to have all the stitching stuff housed, but yet if we have, you know, people over or anything like that, it's just kind of out of the way. So that's nice. Um, but I am really excited about it. So that's really good. I think one thing I was going to mention that I kind of forgot about in that video, the way I have my desk set up, um, if you kind of recall that, I can like turn my main screen around and face the chair. And so it kind of works out perfect that I can kind of pull up like Netflix, FlossTube, whatever I want to watch on my computer and kind of flip that around and so I can be sitting in the chair and watching um, TV or YouTube or whatever. Um, and even actually earlier today, I was like typing up some notes on, so I just had pulled my wireless keyboard over there and was like typing up notes <laughs> that I had the you know computer screen flipped around. So it'll be a great spot even like for working um, or for studying or whatever. So it's, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. So moving on, I did want to do some shout outs to a few other floss tubers that I've been watching lately. Um, I know I haven't shouted out specifically floss tubers since my first video. So I've just been watching a few other people. Um, I'm still watching through Priscilla and Chelsea's videos, Real Housewives of Cross Stitch and also Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. So I'm still kind of making my way through those videos. Um, actually, Julie, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World, she commented on my first video and I shouted her out and she said, you don't have to watch all the videos. Um, but that's just like how my mind works. I don't like watching things out of order. I don't like picking up where, you know, I know there's like previous stuff. Like when it comes to Netflix shows or books or anything like that, if there's something that came out prior, like I need to watch that. I need to like get up to date. I don't like watching things out of order. And so, um, or, you know, even like skipping, I guess in general. So I will watch all of your videos. I know I don't have to, but that's just the way my brain works, I guess. So still working through those videos. Some of the other people that I watch and that I am caught up on are Sean from Craftivating Creations, Jaina, the Stitchy Reader, um, Evelyn Across the Pond, um, and I'll put her like YouTube name on the screen here so you can know how to, exactly how to, to search that. Um, Darcy Cameron, he, oh my gosh, he's hilarious. And um, on Instagram, he is Stitchman Darcy, but on YouTube, he is like Darcy Cameron. And then um, the last new one that I've kind of new to me, the one that I've started to watch is Married with Stitches, um, Derek and Christian. So I'm not caught up on their videos. I'm still a couple years behind, but um, obviously I know that they are the um, business owners of Fortnite Fabrics and I am doing their uh, fabric of the month club. So I know who they are. I just haven't watched their videos. So I am watching them now. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the stitching then. Um, I do have one finish from last time, two weeks ago, and I definitely showed this in my last video and it was a, I think it was a new start for, yeah, it was my new year, new start. And, um, this is actually a birthday present for my mom. Her birthday was last week. So I have finished the project, but I haven't fully finished it. Um, but I won't be seeing her until, um, oh, I guess I might be seeing her in a couple of weeks. So maybe I should get it done. But anyway, here, I'll show you the finish. Um, this is Farm Fresh Butt Nuggets by La Hoopla Company or Co. Yeah. And this was, this was so fun. This is on... 32 count linen in twilight blue. I believe it's a witch out linen. And um, all the thread that it calls for is DMC. 
and even the so the body of the chicken here is um, one of the DMC variegated flosses um, but it's all it's all still DMC though so yeah this is really fun um, I do still have some of the fabric left so I can do something else with them with that um, but I do have plans on how to finish this so I need to to do that because I might be seeing my mom here in a couple weeks but um, I bought this plate from a thrift store by us you know it says I hope you laugh but my <laughs> my plan is to cover that up so the edge of the plate is like this red brown color and I thought that would go really well with the colors that are in the stitching um, and I'll mount this onto you know a circular piece of mounting board and um, you know with the cotton batting and everything on it and then I ordered some fabric off of Etsy just some you know like quilting fabric that's I can't remember if it's more of like a cream color or more if it's more of like this yellow color because I saw a few um, different things and I can't remember which, which one I went with but um, that's kind of the, the background color of it and then the pattern is like a chicken wire kind of pattern um, so I, I just got a little bit of that well I think I had to buy it in like a full yard but I figured there'll be other stuff I'll, I'll, I can use it for eventually or even I can even give it to my mom um, but yeah so I'll just with that fabric I'll kind of Priscilla inspired I'll kind of like fray the edges and ruffle it up kind of around and kind of attach it to the outside of the mounting board and then I'll put it on this plate so yeah the goal is that this whole thing would be covered up and that the, and the frayed edges of the that fabric would just kind of um, seep out from the from the plate there and then um, at a different thrift store we found my, my friend and I went shopping and I found this um, stand for you know plates or frames or whatever and so got it home double checked it with the plate that I already had and it fits it's great so once I have all of this finished up she can display it in their house somewhere so that's that's exciting so not not a, quite a fully finished object yet but I do have the finished stitching so that's exciting um, yeah if I do give it to her before um, I make my next floss two video I'll try to remember to film a little piece of the finished the finished object the fully finished object so that I can insert that into my next video once I have that done all right so I have a few projects that were prior whips so things that I have shown in previous videos that I just made a little bit of progress on um, the first one I'm going to show is hello dear by caterpillar cross stitch and I've said this in the past but this is my Santa Sunday um, project that I'm gonna have so working on Christmas projects on Sundays so that I can I can continue to make progress on them and I do love them all very much so I'm okay with that um, but since it's only been two weeks and uh, two weeks ago I also did a floss tube so I didn't stitch as much on that Sunday um, I don't have a ton more progress than what I showed but I'll try to insert a picture I think I'll have to screenshot it for my last floss tube but um, I'll try to insert a picture of where I was but this is where I am now so slowly coming along um, Hopefully I'll have you, you know, quite a bit more to show next time. But yeah, I think two weeks ago I wasn't able to get a whole lot done. And then even last week, I don't think I got much done and I haven't worked on it yet today. So, but from what I recall, I think I've just done a lot of this. I think I just did most of this tree, you know, the trunk of the tree there and worked up. Um, so really not a lot. I, I feel like I should be stitching more on Sundays. It's, you know, it's the weekend, but I feel like I don't end up getting a lot of stitching time in on Sundays but anyway so um, went up the tree though and then so I'll have the rest of the grass and there's a stack of presents over here so we'll get there we'll get there probably within the next few videos assuming I can continue to stitch you know fair amount on Sundays but we'll have to see about that oh and as far as the fabric and everything goes this is Belfast linen in white I think I just got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I didn't like dye it or anything like that. Um, and then the threads are DMC, just the called for DMC. So yeah, 
So the next whip I'm going to show is the um, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Christmas Wreath Sow that's going on. So um, I think the my last video was the Sunday before part three was released. So that released that Friday, I think Friday. Um, and so yeah, I've been able to make quite a bit of progress on part three and I almost have it done. Not quite though, but I know I have a few weeks until part four releases. So I'm, I'm in good shape to keep, keep up with the sow. That's my goal is to keep up with the sow. Um, so here is what I have. Ooh, my reminder out of the way. Ooh, drop the back of it. That's fine. Um, so here is through almost part three. So part three was, or part one was the house, and um, and I'm still debating if I want to kind of un unpick the reindeer and do like the slightly darker ones in too much right now, but. The, yeah, the house, the reindeer, and Santa. Part two was the bow. And then part three is the beginning of this wreath. So you're starting to see the, the greenery of the wreath, um, a few bulbs, a candy cane, a star. And then there's an ornament right here, the pretty, you know, kind of round with like a point at the end ornament. So that's the only part I have left. Um, so I, I got all of the rest of it done and um, kind of wanted to move on to something else. So I figured I'd come back to it sometime in the next few weeks before part four releases. Yeah, so this is, like I said, the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Christmas Wreath Sal, and um, this is on Belfast Linen in Gingerbread. I believe it's a picture this plus, maybe I shouldn't say that, I don't know. I don't know if I know that. <laughs> I got it off of one, two, three stitch, but, um, and then the the pattern calls for all DMC for this one, so just using it as called for. Um, but like I said, I might there's like this you know light brown color that's used on the house as well as the reindeer here, um, but it, you know kind of blends in with the fabric that I chose. So I keep dropping stuff, um, so I might might go back and kind of change out that color of the brown. All right, and then the last whip I have that um, it was a prior, you know, prior whip, something that I'd started before, but that I did work on you know, over the last few weeks was um, my Snow Village by Country Cottage Needleworks, and I'm on the second one that I've done. I guess um, I did the skate and sled shop, and now I'm working on the snowflake stand. So here is my progress on that. And this is becoming my snow day piece. I know I, or, you know, pieces, I guess. Um, others have talked about a snow day piece. And so on a day that it snows, this is going to be the piece I work on. So we in Iowa here had 13 inches of snow one day here over the last two weeks. So it was quite a bit and it came down really fast. It was, it was insane. So that was the one day I worked on this. I think I... By definition of like snow day, I probably could have um, easily worked on this one other one or two other days, but I think I just had other things I wanted to work on. Um, or I think there was a day that I didn't even get to stitching. I think that was, you know, I maybe otherwise would have worked on this. So I don't think I got a lot done on it um, since last time, but I do believe I got the leaves of this tree and then just more of this white on the bottom here. Um, but yeah, so not a whole lot of an update there. And this is a 32 count linen in misty blue, which I believe is a discontinued color, um, but I got um, enough to do this whole series with that. And the, the floss is mostly DMC with a few colors in classic color work. So, um, you know, this is all DMC white but then um, I know like up here is like classic color works, tomato, cherry tomato. Um, and there's a few other, uh, I don't think I have any in this piece yet, but I know it called, you know, the series has hickory sticks as another one. Um, yeah, so those, who knows what's called for it. And I believe, oh, and this is the, this is the finished 
design of this particular one. Okay, so I had two starts, two new starts since my last video. And they were both things I talked about in my last video, so it shouldn't be a surprise. They are both Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery uh, designs that I purchased when they had their sale uh, a few months ago. And I had them all kitted up, so I just went ahead and started them. So the first one I started was Hugs and Kisses. And here's um, a picture of what that's going to look like. And here's what I have so far. However, however, first of all, let's let's point out this needle minder that my husband got me for Christmas. So cute. Well, porcupine. I, yeah, that's a porcupine, right? Maybe, maybe hedgehog. Porcupine, hedgehog. But he he loves the pin cushion because they're twinsies. Anyway, okay. So anyway. This is what I have done. However, um, I did the border first, um, which is probably not surprising given where I'm at on some of the other things, but I did the border first and I made an assumption about the repeating pattern um, that turned out to be wrong. So basically the top row here, kind of the spacing between all the red parts is the same and so I counted how many of those reds you know kind of things I needed on the sides and I just assumed the spacing was all the same about the sides as well well it it wasn't um, in order to have a little bit of room in you know the center of the stuff or the, the center of the design um, they did kind of increase the spacing on a couple spots and so um, I am now two rows short, like the inside of my border is two rows short of what it should be. Um, so the, the left to right is fine, but the top to bottom is a little bit too short. So I was, I've been looking at it to maybe kind of think of a way that I could get around having to frog and redo it, but I like the design too much and I don't want to necessarily mess with it. And I think if I try to, um, you know, take out rows or you try to squish things, it would just look wrong. And so it's not really that much stitching. So I'm not too worried about it. But so I think I am going to, I, it, I think I just have to like unstitch this top border and these kind of few, this top section and then same on the bottom. Um, and then probably any, everything I have inside, which isn't a whole lot anyway, but so we'll have to, to frog that and redo that, but that shouldn't be too bad. But this one did go into timeout last night because of that. So, um, I don't know if we'll get it done by Valentine's day, but it is definitely a cute piece. And so I'll keep working on it. And this is in Belfast linen in the color baby pink. I'm hoping some of the colors, I think they'll all work out really well, but, and then the floss is, um, a mix of, or there's, you know, DMC and Weeks Dye Works. This is Weeks Dye Works. The red is, um, Louisiana Hot Sauce is the name of it. And then I believe the pink is Bubblegum. I could be wrong about that. And I know there's at least another one in here, I think, that it calls for, but. So because that one went into timeout, then I started my other piece, other uh, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery one that I had started, or that I had kitted up, I went ahead and started that. So I don't know if I would have had this one started otherwise. So that's exciting, I guess. Um, and I still on the cue snap. So this is Winter Carriage Ride by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, and I'll put a picture here. Um, as I said, I mentioned this in my last video that I had it all kitted up, so had it ready to go for a moment like that. Um, so I got a, a little bit of a start on it. So I started on the bottom, and I did the very, very bottom of the border here, and then um, kind of moved up into the next section and started doing kind of the white there. So not, not a huge start on it, um, but it will be about this big. 
think I have just enough room on here. I don't think I had too much, too much extra. I don't even think I had a full two inches on either side here, but it'll be, you know, be fine for what I need. But, um, yeah, so this is Belfast Linen in the color Oaken, which is the called for color, um, but not the called for fabric, I believe some sort of eight, 28 count even weave, I think was the called for, but, um, so that's the, the fabric there and the floss is, uh, the calls for like a mix of DMC and weak sty works. So this is, this bottom row here is just, um, DMC, but this white that I've done is weak sty works white lightning. Um, and it's really kind of cool. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's got like a, almost like a tinge of gray to it. Um, and so you can see that variegation in person at least, maybe in, maybe on camera a little bit. I feel like this one part is a little bit brighter, you know, it's because this is more white versus more of the gray. And so you can kind of see that. Um, so not, not a huge start, but, um, hopefully I'll have more, more next time on that one. All right. So that's it for my projects. So moving on to haul, um, I guess most of my haul is really the stuff that you saw in my earlier video about uh, my stitchy spot, so my chair, my table, my ort jar, uh, those things were really kind of my haul. I do have an order placed with 123 Stitch, um, so I'm, I'm still waiting on the stuff that I am getting from them, but I purchased the Modern Folk Embroidery, the Fruit of Plenty uh, 2021 Sal, so I'll put a picture of what that's going to be here. So I do have my supplies ordered um, to start that. I don't know how I'm going to keep up with the sal. I've obviously I'm going to be a month behind even to start it. So we'll see kind of what that process ends up looking like. The other stuff that I order that's in that one, two, three stitch order are, um, the materials to participate in the celebrate Madame Chantilly sal that Georgia girl stitching and Evelyn across the pond are hosting starting February. Oh gosh, February 26th, I think. Um, so they are doing the Celebrate Winter pattern by Madame Chantilly, which is the winter season tiered tray. Um, I went to all the tiered trays on the 123Stitch site and um, just of the ones they had kind of ready and available. I decided to choose, or I decided to go with the Celebrate 4th of July pattern. So um, I'll put a picture of what that's gonna look like here. Um, so I'll be participating in that sal with them. They um, they are going to be specifically working on the celebrate winter pattern, um, but they said you know you can do any any celebrate tiered tray from that in Chantilly, um, and they I, I do love these and I've been wanting to start them and so this is just the perfect excuse to pick one and start them. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll be looking to forward to participating in that. Um, eventually. So hopefully I'll have the, the materials for that by my next video. And then, um, yeah, so those are the only really haul things that are going on, I guess, for me right now. Um, and then the only other plans that I have are, you know, tomorrow is the first of February. And so I'll start the February, a year in chalk, um, design by hands on design sometime, you know, within the next few days. So, so given that those jump pretty quick and then I tend to do those pretty quickly, I'll hopefully have a finish there to show by my next video as well. And that's all I have for today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching my whole video. Um, be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already and like this video too. Leave a comment if you have any questions or want to, um, you know, participate in any of the things that I'm, sales that I'm doing or anything like that, um, be happy to, to point you in the right direction. Uh, I have the names of all the projects that I mentioned in the, um, description block box below as well. And yeah, I'll see you in three weeks. Bye.